This is the time of the year when Mrs. O'Boyle and I go to visit our elementary schools. We encourage and welcome our sixth grade students who are starting with us in August. One of the suggestions that we have is for students to be themselves and to follow their interests. We have so many bright and interesting people in our student population, everyone should be able to make healthy connections. We have artists, singers, dancers, swimmers, mathematicians, drummers, scientists, book lovers, football players, vocalists, artists, engineers, video gamers, amazing spellers, history buffs. We have students with exceptional fashion sense, volleyball players, hockey players, guitar players, and as expected, we have students who haven't exactly figured out what their thing is yet. That's a lot, Mrs. O'Boyle. We also have a diverse group. We have people with all different skin colors and religious backgrounds. We have lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and questioning students. While many of us are from here in the Valley, we also have students who come from places all over the world. New York, California, Mexico, Europe, Haiti, and Japan. We should value everyone equally and respect those who are different. Everyone has a place here at DSMS. This year, we would like to help DSMS in achieving a goal that we have in common with Katie McPherson, the kind presenter who spoke with us about social media in December. We want our school to be a place where everyone has dignity and where the dignity of each student is regarded well in speech and actions. There are and always will be people who try to strip you of your dignity. We're here to tell you that you're important and speaking up when you're presented with challenging situations is part of a healthy lifestyle. Students tell us directly through in-person meeting, surveys, and anonymous reporting that we have a problem at Desert Shadows Middle School. We have a problem with hate speech. Students report hearing racial slurs, including the N-word, and also homophobic slurs about people who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or questioning. We've, heard, we've also heard and addressed hate language directed towards people of different ethnicities and religious practices. This is hurtful and unacceptable. Mr. Hummer and I have heard from a number of families who express concern that this kind of speech exists at our school. This is a poor reflection of us at DSMS. It suggests that we're ignorant and we have prejudice. I believe with my heart that racial, homophobic, and insensitive name calling and remarks are not in line with the values of our teachers, families, and students. It's time to break the silence and it's time to address this problem head on. Students who use this abusive and hateful language and slurs need to sit in front of us. They need to know that from their teachers and the parents and the fullness of our community that this is unacceptable and will not be tolerated on our campus. Use this language and it will be addressed according to our student code of conduct and the discipline referral process. We're committed to this and need your help. The hate speech most often happens in places that we cannot see and hear. It is upstanders who help us break the silence. Here's how we need your help. One, if listening to this announcement, there's a part of you that believes you might be responsible for language, name calling, or remarks that hurt other students, this should stop. Some tell themselves that this form of name calling is a joke, but that is wrong. We don't joke about race, religion, orientation, or the like. Make it your goal in 2020 to be kind to all peers in all places. Number two, we need you, each of you, to speak out against hate speech. The vast majority of our students know that this is wrong when they hear it, but few speak out. As you grow in age and confidence, you will speak out more and more when you see injustice. It can be as simple as saying, you really shouldn't say that. When upstanders speak, it makes an impression on the offender and it can mean a lot to the victim. Lastly, report the names, times, and places you observe or experience hate speech. There are many ways to report. You can do this at the back office with one of us at lunch. There's the anonymous tip line that's on our website. There's also a, a mailbox in the back office where you can write down any comments you want us to read without putting your name on it. Again, it's important that you give us the names, times, places that these acts of hate occur so that we can address them immediately. Thank you for listening to this important message. It's not just new students who should be encouraged to be yourself at Desert Shadows Middle School. It's you. It's all of us. Let's think about how we can dignify all people on campus through our words and actions. 
We encourage all students and teachers and families to continue this discussion of our goal on erasing hate speech. Thank you for listening. Thank you.